The best of the best for our upper bracket final. Vici Gaming versus Team Secret, and I don't think either one of us is too surprised to see these teams here. One side nope. we got Vici Gaming, whose teamwork has been impeccable, and then Secret, individual skill and drafting. See how he does against Nisha's Arc War. And bottom lane, we're already gonna have a first blood, though. Eurus does manage to pick it up on Puppy. Could change the trajectory of how that mid lane matchup goes. Eurus gonna be chased here by Matumba Man with the extra Fox Shield to be able to slow him down. They're gonna turn a multi shot Matumba Man, but he's tanky enough. He's gonna be able to survive through this. And with the help of Hand of Yapsor, they're gonna be able to get the kill on the carry. Trading away their support, though. And he's gone for a very defensive build. Oh, well, aggressive. Depends how you look at it with the two bracers. UI. Puppy's gonna pull in Euros to make sure that they get the Jingu stacks off against Gust. Found and strike. That is a great position. Good Ooh. counterplay, though. This is a really sick one. If they can actually bring down both these heroes, the Monkey King is trying to get away from the puck, but just won't be able to do so. The multi shot comes out to slow down Puppy as well. A double kill for Euros. This here is just because their timing is going to come with that big initiating tool. Ori, meanwhile, is going to be able to find long range initiation onto the Monkey King. They're going to make sure he oh. does get up. Wukong's command. PYW okay. fully commits there, using the Doom as well, just to make sure. But a hook shot. Now, life between the two of them with a chain frost. Oh, no, it bounced over to the puck. It doesn't matter, though. They've got more than enough damage. Thanks to Nisha and his Tempest double arc ward. There's that clockwork factor. If you fight a team next to their tower, it's so easy for him to connect. It almost feels like Disruptor in that way that, sure, you got a kill, but can you get back out? The reach is just insane. Yaps are perfect position here okay. on the Shaker. He's going to be able to help Ori out. Ori, really smart positioning with all of those spells. We'll see whether or not they can turn this around. As Zai is going to be chased down. Puppy, he's going to go down to Ori. Meanwhile, the clockwork is kind of stuck. Zai. It's gonna be saved by Fisher, slowed down a little bit. That last couple of shots does land on him, and PYW's on the other side. Slowing down, Ori and the rest of the crew will try and take down Nisha's Tempest double for the extra gold. Ability to solo kill isn't nearly what it was before with the other attack damage talent. Eurus in trouble, surrounded by the Wukong's command, a clockwork on his way. Good silence, but at the end of the day, he can't get out of that Wukong's command. Not with the Echo Saber, it's too strong. Oh, Sinister Gaze instantly put onto Ori. He's gonna have to try and run away with the Flux still on him, and the Spark Wraith on its way. Chain Frost as well, Face Shift just won't come up in time. Another great kill, PYW back over the bottom lane. Seeker is everywhere right now. They're gonna be able to claim him. Yang, much harder kill to pick up, but they're still gonna try for it as Zai bounces him back with the Cogs. Finally, the ultimate is gonna be forced. They're gonna try and stick with him a little bit, just slowing him down. DY's here, though, with Bramble's view overgrowth. They're gonna slow down these heroes underneath the tower. The turnaround on to Zai will be successful. They get that kill, but DY has to get away from a Tumba Man whose lifesteal is allowing him to survive through with a boundless strike, healing him up a little bit more. He claims the kill on to DY, but oh! hit by a multi shot just in time. A jump away is not up. Yay. Does manage to get him with the miss coil. But we'll see as they uh, all push into mid lane. And Secret, they may be not ready to contest this. They are going to get the Fisher onto Ori, but they're still stuck underneath the coil. They're going to be able to get the Doom onto the real Arc Warden here. Yang pursuing, trying to chase him down with the multi shot going out as well. The chain frost a little off the mark, but Yang committing and does manage to bring down Nisha. At the end, they had Matumba Man up at that top lane. They didn't bring enough heroes to this fight. Now Secret's gonna probably lose it here with the overgrowth. Locked onto two, blocking onto that clockwork. But DY at the same time, a little bit of turnaround by Yaps. We're trying to kill him. Or he's stopping that sinister gaze with a silence. Multi-shot and a missed coil. Takes down Puppy as well. Vichy Gaming swarming into that mid lane. Matumba Man finally showing up with the X-Flame onto two. Can they win this engagement against superior numbers? Here is going for a big TP out, but the Fisher stops him. Only one kill, though. The rest of Vici Gaming low, but still alive. Oh, being built. If it was on the way, they would be in a really good spot. Good run into Zai here. Instantly dooming him. Dagging a little bit extra damage to make sure he dies. They're also going to try and catch this backlight. Yapsor does break the coil to try and run away. Does also have that shadow amulet to be able to protect him. They uh, didn't realize where he went. He got around the tree, so they thought he actually escaped away. Nice hold there from the overgrowth to make sure that Puppy dies. And they caught the Monkey King. What a disaster that would have been if they don't catch those extra heroes. Sweet juke by Yapsor, though. Really sick. 16 and to 15, a 3,000 net worth lead for Vici Gaming, but it's uh, Secret seemed to have a little bit more control of the map, or maybe that's just because Zai is pretty far forward here, and uh, he may be very tanky, but not much he can do with the Doom. Looks like bottom line, they also found yours at the same time, so Secret will take that exchange, I'm sure. Big damage build. Uh, rather than a right-click build. Ori spotting the Monkey King. Matumba Man actually jumping down. Does have an Aegis as well as a BKB. So Vici Gaming may not 
commit fully to this one and overgrowth that only lands uh, on the Lynch as the Glimmer Cape protects him. Into the back line, Yuris already being found by the uh, Zai Clockwork. And the turnaround here is but Tough Man activating his BKB. He's already taken out Ori on the side. PYW does manage to find the real Arc Warden, but it doesn't matter with so many heroes here. And last Yuris can lend a hand here. PYW continuing to chase with the help of DY as well, but the BKB is going to wear out eventually. And that's where Yapsor instantly hits him with the stun. And that is enough to allow Nisha to disengage. In fact, he wants to go back and he knows VG Gaming is on the back foot. Yang will be an inevitable victim to this clockwork who locks him inside the cogs. Three dead on the side of Vichy Gaming. Secret even gonna buy one? I'm not sure. So far, it doesn't seem like it. Top of the oh. man, the Wukong's man, gonna be able to surround the Doom. The Yams are following up, keeping him chain stunned, basically. That's gonna be killed right off the bat. Now, Yang, he's gonna be fine, at least initially, but they can certainly chase for quite some time. So unless he can somehow juke through the trees, which seems unlikely, especially with Zai, the other side of things, then he will fall as well. Two down. Oh. Of all things, the power cogs got the key. <laughs> uh, yeah, all Eurus. Money too. Eurus in yeah. trouble. Echo Slam just to seal the deal. Two becomes three, and all of a sudden, Vici Gaming's base is looking very exposed. Those two leading stunts, and one lane of barracks turns to two as Vici Gaming are not going to buy back on the Drill Ranger. After all, they don't have a Dream Protector, and they pretty much need everybody to successfully defend. Some man leading the way, just spawning some of those uh, statues, making it a little bit harder for Vici Gaming. There's the first round of multi shots, so you get an idea of what kind of damage that does. An aggressive force step, now a defensive one does manage to get, but Tumba Man back out. They need to be able to bring down his agents without serious commitment. They do manage to get the Doom on Dark Warren, but at the same time, Zai in and out with a refresher from the Agonim Scepter. Now the Tumba Man on the second line gets off the Wukong Command, surrounding PYW. They have the coil on the back lines, but nobody can really get there. And Yuris, he's a little bit low. Hit by the Echo Slam, does manage to get off his BKB, but now he's been back. Up. The overgrowth is going to be able to buy him time here. Yuris trying to fight during his BKB. He needs that damage because nobody else can really deliver it. As you can see, Nisha, Ori, he's trying to get that kill on a Yaps or can't quite do it. Yang drops low. A Phonic Shield just in time. Tempest Double is not going to be able to take down Yang, but the Megas are going to be coming soon if Fiji Gaming can't find a way to push back Nisha and Matamba Man. All of them healing up right now, but that's just it. Secret seem to have found a very winning formula against Fiji Gaming, taking this game one pretty handedly. But we'll see. Beachy Gaming, they're no slouches. We'll come back in game two, see what happens. A clean victory in game one. Lean Secret just one game away now from the grand finals. Thumbs. So I imagine both supports. Oh, oh Ori getting pulled in. Skewer forward, and what hit? Just the other way. Yeah, no theory. And now they want to deal with this pesky timber saw. And Holding Rubik, him up, Chrono. does have the Chronosphere, he's going to be able to grab the two of them, just go for the kill on PYW. The Splinter Blast was a little bit too far away to hit the Rubik, but there is Puppy to be able to burst him down. But Tumban, he's just one nuke away from dying here, but the time walk is up, but no! He gets struck down by Yang before he was able to get it off. You just want to secure your advantage some more with a, with a pipe, right? Make sure Storm that nobody can die. Or he's gonna make sure he doesn't get caught, but the Winter's Curse does hit him. Now Zai needs to be able to chain this stun off the wall into the RP on it too. But Tough Man's here as well. Can they get the badge? They don't need it. The damage is enough. His secret. Show the first bit of team fight with a heavy rotation down the bottom lane. Puppy, okay, there's no stuns here. That's a pretty big deal, you know? You have the Essence Ring as well that you can pass over to this IO. I guess they will do that eventually instead of having it on Timber, who again is, uh, He's falling fast. Telekinesis and String is ended up to be able to find some time. Timber Chain, a little bit of distance, and he does have some health see nearby. BG Gaming, they're coming in force. They want to be able to fight this one right now. The Gyrocopter's now here with a double damage, and it's Secret, who have to retreat now, but they can't get away from this Storm Spirit. Or he's certainly going to catch somebody. It's going to be the Winter Wyvern. A BKB TP out for Nisha. Make sure that he does escape. So Secret really found the openings. Their lineup doesn't have the best catch either, right? They have, oh. Yeah, so he set this up. DY is just going to commit. The Winter's Curse is going to stop the outpost from being claimed and the Bounty Rune from being nabbed. Uh, there was one other game I saw. It was given to Gyro, giving him that long range attack on Mox. Oh, what's it now? With the smoke, instantly a double bash coming out from our boy, but he's getting disabled up. He's trying to use his Aegis right now. Gonna pop the BKB. Now that he's grabbed that IO, the stolen Chronosphere could spell bad things here. As he uh, wants to be able to get away with the Rolling Thunder, they're gonna lock down this roof to make sure that Chronosphere is not used aggressively. Matumba Man, he's gonna be losing his Aegis here for the Rolling Thunder, knocking up Ori. Maybe they're running out of damage though, with the buyback being used, Vichy Gaming. 
feeling comfortable taking this fight, but what if they can't actually catch the secret hero? What I've seen them play against other teams, they would have played with a lot more confidence of out team fighting somebody. Oh, nice fast blink away, but it does leave Yang a little bit isolated right now. Or he knows he has to go for that Winter Wyvern to make sure that Orkin and that Winter's curse isn't used, but he was locked down by secret and instantly blown up. Now Yuris, without one of his damage dealers, has to be able to back away, but there's too much physical damage from the Void and the Magnus. They're going to stick onto him with this blink dagger. Yuris not going to be able to get away. Nisha's just too big. An off of a buyback. Two buybacks from the supports. They both die now, right? Yeah. It, it felt like their attitude was just different. Whoa, with Chronosphere okay, there from the top of man. This is an opportunity for Vici Gaming. But it's an opportunity they have to make sure they don't get caught by Nisha's Magnus. He tries to get the skill re in. Fortunately, there is that telekinesis to stop again. But Yuris is left a little bit alone right now. Yang is going to try and help him out. ARP threatens to come in. DY, Kane Frost is going to be thrown right. He tethers in. They quickly identify the Wisp and take him out of the fight. Now the RP laid down onto the Gyrocopter. Nisha's willing to blow this on just the carry because he's able to one shot him. Now Ori coming back in with his curse to be able to stop that damage onto the Magnus. The Orchid's going to burn him out a little bit more. But a cold abrasive. Able to save him, not good enough. Yang is going to be able to get him with the pure damage, but it's Yang against the world, and the world will eventually win here as Yang is going to be forced to try and retreat. But he has no yules, he has no mobility tools, and they have plenty of stuns to stop the timber team. That's a one for five. One. You know, now they've reached the point where they can even start itemizing single target lockdown, right? <laughs> They've had all these AOE lockdowns. Oh, here we go, Chrono. Yeah, the mid, the Chrono Sphere is going to be used to make sure they do manage to pick up the Agents of T-Cell Kinesis. But can they actually get there in time? He's going to try and grab it, but he needs time. Walk back in, the RP pulling away for the Agents. Now locking down Yuris. He does manage to pick up that cheese and heals himself with it. Sign that back line. But Nisha immediately missed the place onto the Wisp to be able to take him out. There's going to be a buyback back there, though. Yuris going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yang with the help of Lori. He might be able to bring him down. Yule Scepter buying a little bit of time. Swash ball go over the side, but side will eventually die. Team Secret retreating, though feeling like enough buybacks were used by VG Gaming. PYW to begin so that the Aegis was in jeopardy. And then the RP coming in, securing it for Secret. Find the Rubik. Or he's low on mana, but he will have enough to be able to hold Nisha here as Yuris comes in. The Cold Embrace. Can they actually save him? They're running out of magic damage. He's healing up a decent amount. Can there any way for him to get away? No. Yeah. In Timber Chain. No die actually buy back. There's two heroes that are going to be dying back here. That is trouble now. 14 secret. Puppy's going to be snagged up as well. Orchid. Yeah, Absor doesn't have his Winter's Curse. Not much he can do to stop this. 15% in power. Cleave. That's going to be great for him. That's another 30%. But then also just putting on him a Tumpet Man is very strong. Rolling Thunder. Oh, that was a little close. Zai does manage to find the IO. So they'll lock down DY unless he can actually get away because he jumps on a PYW. And wow. relocate out. He's safe. Well, is he? <laughs> well, let's Maybe see. Maybe he is. It looks like Secret are kind of lingering. Yeah, they're lingering maybe a little bit too long because VG Gaming is coming here in force. The relocate is coming back here, so Yuris should feel comfortable here. This is going to be the first life of Tumba Man, perhaps. Cold Brace actually keeping him alive still. He also has Satanic and might be able to turn in life steal a little bit. Ori actually jumping in, but the Winter's Curse locking him down. Now they have the Orchid. The Timber Sock going into it with the Corner Sphere onto the side. He's going to be able to play the shot T. Why? A stolen Corner Sphere locking down four heroes underneath all of this one, but Yuris is too unhealthy to be able to turn and take advantage of this disabled, and he's going to be chased down. The Abyss Blade up. Ori, no buyback for him, so he can't help out his brother Yuris in defending this, and that means three heroes are dead on BG Gaming with no buyback. PYW not going to make it away either. A shield crash in a vain attempt to survive four dead no buyback and once again yang is left in a 1v4 for sure the rolling thunder gonna be used as the timber chain on cooldown catch him once sinister gaze in so many disables especially with the bash as well as the basher on nisha yang is just very unlikely to be able to get a timber chain ever he's gonna try and go the other direction and uh, does manage to cut down a few trees but he's just going deeper God, into secret space the secrets hill ward it's just sitting here. They yeah. haven't checked the most obvious ward spot on they the whole exactly map right now. They know exactly what's going on here. That's why they're going to be able to get the two-man RP into the back line. Nisha is trying to finish up this storm here. Fortunately, Aeon Disc from DY will do a lot of work for them. Matum Man being controlled up. Does manage to get on the BKB. Satanic healing him up to full as he's going to be able to beat DY to a pulp. The big difference. The Princess Knife in this game. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the time, the way Vichy Gaming are taking fights is they're moving in Gyro first to get information. Now they're going to do it with Yang. This 1.5 second hex can be enough to get a little bit of a surprise jump. Yang, though, 
It's taking a lot of damage. The missiles are coming in. They're going to be able to chain stun Matumba Man for quite some time until the RP. Skewer on in, locking down the two. The Chain Frost actually bouncing back on the Seeker, but they don't care because the BKBs allows them to focus on the Gyrocopter. That Rolling Thunder bouncing up on DY. The A1 disc does actually protect for the time being, but PYW, not so lucky there. They do manage to get the Orchid out of Matumba Man, but a Lotus Sword kind of up for Zai does save any time walks away. Oh, wait, there's Curse on all four heroes here, and that is a, a Storm Tear who's just dead. He's going to be able to buy back, and they do actually finish off Humpy, but that is a small consulates that they need to be able to bring down some of these damage dealers like my tough man who's still fighting on the front line Ori going for Yapsur George Man to take out another one of the supports but DY is not going to survive for long as the Abyss Blade cuts him down but top of man he breaks down the gyrocopter damage to running low on VG Gaming it's just Ori left with no man and now he falls as well and that's it VG Gaming call here secret a pretty clean 2-0 a convincing victory as they head to the grand finals